So what is going on guys and welcome back to episode number 73 of our Portsmouth career mode and we are going to be kicking off this episode taking on the Barclays Premier League champions Leicester City at the King Power Stadium. We haven't put our second team line out for this one but I do believe it is good enough to try and get something from this game. We need to try and come out this little poor run we're going on. We've lost two games on the bounce. Please don't make it three. Good ball through to Tito Sifuentes. Sifuentes plays the ball through to Che Adams. Che Adams got a lovely chance. He stops, then goes, keeps going. He's messed up our chance. Can we try and salvage it as we play the ball through to Tito Sifuentes? Sifuentes does it! He bangs in the goal at the near post. And it looked like we had messed up our chance big time because we should have unleashed the shot a lot earlier. But Tito scores a fantastic goal for us. So Mr. Rolly manages to keep it alive, plays it through. And it looked like he was never going to score from there. But Ben Hamer gets beaten at his near post and we've scored. Good ball through to Amana though. Amana's charged past his man. Amana keeps on going. Can he find the back of the net as well? He can't. He's put it wide of the post. Good chance for Leicester, Lawrence on the ball, Lawrence goes for goal, and Sarai with a good save at his near post. So we've got to try and keep a clean sheet in this game, considering we've taken an early lead as well. What is that for a corner? That's very poor. So we play the ball through to Che Adams, or we try to, but he gets cut out, and Menezes is now on the ball. Menezes trying to find the ball to someone. We do, we play, squeeze it ball through to Tommaso Missy-Rolli, and now he gets in our way. Oh, Tommaso, move out the way, man. So the ball through to Che Adams. Che Adams tries to take it around his man. Can he quite do so? Che Adams has really let us down this season. And I think we will try and flog him this transfer window. We'll try and get rid of Che Evans and bring in a new striker. So I think a new striker we desperately need. We need someone that's got some goals in them. Because Che Adams has failed to do that. Amana is actually the one scoring the goals for us. As we play the ball to Sifuentes. It goes up in the air. Claire Menezes should keep that one in. As he tries to put the ball across the face of goal. But as I was saying, Amana's scoring the goals. But the thing that um, I'm struggling with is scoring goals with the likes of Che Adams. He's not doing very well. He's playable out wide to Tito Sifuentes. Sifuentes takes it around his man. He unleashes it. And once again, Ben Hamer, all he can do is push it up in the air. Leicester have a good chance though. Please don't tell me they're going to score a goal to get them a point. But Josh Feller does well there to win us the ball back. And Tommaso Missy Rolly's on the ball now as he plays it ball. Ah, oh, we lose it. But Clever Menezes manages to regain it. And uh, Marcus Edwards has now lost it. We had a fantastic chance to go on the counter. And we fluffed our lines. But a good ball through to Tito Sifuentes. Sifuentes. Oh, check Adams. Why are you running away from goal? You're supposed to be a striker. You're supposed to run towards goal. You run towards goal there. A simple ball through to you. And you're one on with the goalkeeper. Why are you running away from goal? I just don't get it. So thank God for that. Because Leicester were currently 20th in the league table. It looks like they are going to get relegated. And we only just managed to hold on to win that game by one goal to nil. Not the most convincing of wins, but at least we finished our mini run of poor form. So, the transfer window is open, and this doesn't look good. The boards say we need to... So, please take the appropriate action of involving him in the first team or giving him a request of a loan to another club. A harlot wants to loan to another club or wants to be sold... And Che Adams wants to be sold. We've got a monthly scouting update from these two. We've got a transfer offer for Ducoro, which we might accept. Then we've got a youth squad monthly report. We've got a training injury. Marcus Edwards is going to be out of action for two weeks. And uh, we've got important transfer. Let's have a look. So let's start from the bottom. Ducoro, 6 million to go to Newcastle. We want, let's say, what do we want? 12 million. We will ask for double his valuation and then we will let him go. We've got a youth um, report come back. We, Bennett will get rid of uh, Dominic Martin. He's got but overall up to 76. So this guy looks quite decent. We'll sign him up. Uh, we'll get rid of Griffiths. He doesn't look very good. Robinson looks even worse. And Alexander looks even worse than him. So only one decent player coming out of that. The other one that we sent to Spain comes back with Galliano. Very poor player. Blanco doesn't look that good. And nor does him. So the first months of them coming back doesn't look too good. And now Che Adams says the transfer window's open. Ahala says the transfer window's open. And Asaurus says the transfer window's open open they all want to leave so we've just found this guy Oliver Torres 86 rated we can approach to sign him on a pre-contract deal for 80 grand a week he's 86 rated we're going to go ahead and give it to him let's see what he says do you guys think he's going to sign for Portsmouth wow it would be amazing if he did though wouldn't it 
So we get a transfer offer here for Omar to go to Manchester City. So Man City do have a bit of money. So we're going to want, let's say, 9 million for Omar. And let's see if City come back and accept that. If they do, then good, happy days. And we will then be able to go ahead and bring in another player. But we have now got a game and it will be up against West Ham. So we're going to be taking on West Ham at Fratton Park. And it's going to be a difficult game for us. But we're hoping we can try and put in a good performance and pick up all three points. Play up, Pompey. Good chance those who play the ball through to Son. Son's going to try and take on Ogbonna. Is he going to be able to do so? He can't quite get past him. No! How has that happened? The deflection fell straight into the path of Manuel Lanzini and he had a simple finish into the back of the net as he's going across to celebrate with Slavan Belic, which, to be honest, he's not doing much of that in real life. But as you see here, they go for the shot. We do very well to win this ball back and it falls straight to Lanzini and he has a simple finish into the back of the net. We've got a lot of work to do. So Emre Moore with the ball through to Reese Oxford. Ah, oh, it has to be bloody Hector Veyer in, doesn't it? That's chasing back, but we do well. We play the ball across. It comes to Lotin. Lotin. Come on, man, you've got to do better. The thing is, we want to sell Lotin, but he's valued at 27 million. And what we need is someone to come in for him. Because if we put him up for sale, we're probably only going to be selling him for around the 30 million mark. And we want more because we want someone decent to replace him. Have we wait for the overlapping run of Lotin? Oh, Lotin, come on, get there. We're not going to get that, but surely we're going to win that one in the air with Reece Oxford. He wins everything in the air, as you just saw. But Henrich is on the ball. Henrich plays the ball across to Ducoro. Ducoro through to Oxford. Oxford inside to Lotin. Lotin, please, thank you. He managed just about to regain possession. We play the ball through to Emre Moore. Emre Moore's on the ball as he's going to play the ball back to Ika Munain. Munain through to Son. Son's done well. Son surely to find the back of the net. How the bloody hell has the goalkeeper saved that? Surely now as Emre Moore plays the ball through to Jason Vargas. Vargas is through against Ogbonga. Vargas goes for goal and he's found the back of the net. That's more like it. Vargas has only scored two goals the whole of the season. Wow, that's his second. Emre Moore with the assist plays the ball through to him. We could have stopped, but we had faith in his left boot. And he actually beats Darren Randolph for once. However, Jason Vargas plays the ball through to Son. Son's through against the goalkeeper. Can Son find the back of the net? He goes for goal. And that's awfully poor from Son. Good ball through to... Although, Emre Moore's going to try and take on everyone as he's looking for the run of Lotin. We play the ball through to Lotin. Lotin cuts back inside. Lotin through to Moore. Moore to strike it. And the defender, as soon as he controlled it, was right on top of him. Good ball inside to Emre, though. Emre's got the chance. Emre's going to try and strike it. What a strike from Emre Moore. He puts it over the bar, though. So Emre Moore. Uh, actually, it's Omar. Omar's just come on the pitch. We play the ball from Sifuentes. Sifuentes out wide to Emre. Emre surely. Oh, he couldn't quite get there. Sig Faguli got back in just in the nick of time. And in the 90th minute now, it looks like the referee's going to blow the full-time whistle as soon as they do something with the ball. There we go. As soon as they play the ball out wide, the referee blows the full-time whistle. And that's it for the game. A 1-1 result at Fratton Park against West Ham. Emre Moore picking up man of the match with an 8.1 rating. But not the most eventful games. It should have been a lot better, but wasn't. Oh my God, guys. What about this? Yannick Carrasco has accepted his pre-contract offer. 88 rated left midfielder, 26 years of age. We've got to accept it. He's going to be joining the club next season. What an amazing signing that is. Wow. So, um, Ducore, Newcastle will only give us 7.5 million for Ducore. We do want a little bit more. We're going to say 9.5 million, which is obviously less than what we asked for previously, but we still want a little bit more. Paris say they won't let Ken Pempe go. Oliver Torres declined his deal. Watford say no to Alberto Peñaranda, and Hugo Azevedo has returned from injury. So, not much happening at the moment. We're hoping that we will be able to sell a player or sign a player play it on a permanent deal quite soon. So Man City come back and say they won't match 9 million for Omar, which is fair enough. Whitecaps have accepted our bid of 800,000 for that guy, 18-year-old, 65-rated striker. He doesn't look too bad, but 
I'm not that sure about him. And also, player conversations, Rick Van Drongelen says, can we discuss our wages? So, to find out what is going to happen, you're going to have to come back in the next episode because that is going to be it for this one. I really do hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to hit the like button down below as it is going to be very much appreciated. And don't forget, if you're around here, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all my latest videos and career modes. And as always, I hope to see you very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Yeah.